Here's how you graph the linear equation y equals negative x plus 2. So first we'll use a table of values to graph the equation, and then we'll look at slope-intercept formula. So for a table of values, we're going to put a value in for x here, we get a value for y, and then we'll graph that point. I'd like to start out with 0, because negative 0, that's just 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. And you can choose any values, I'm just choosing values that I think will fit on the graph here. So how about 1? If we put 1 in for x, negative 1 plus 2, that would just give us 1. And then how about 2? Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So these are the points we'll graph for the linear equation y equals negative x plus 2. So we go to x is 0 and then y is 2. So x is 0, y is 2. That's the y-intercept. We go to x is 1 y is 1. So x is 1, y is 1. And you could stop with two points, but I like to use three. If I made an error here, I'll catch it. So x is 2, y is 0. x is 2, y is 0. There's our line. Let's put a line through that. Then we could put arrows to show that it goes to infinity, and that's the line for y equals negative x plus 2. Let's look at slope-intercept formula real quick. So we have y equals mx plus b b is the y-intercept, that's 2. So if we go over here and we look at our graph, we go up y equals 2, and right there, that's where the line intercepts the y-axis. So we have that. Then for m, let's call this negative 1x. That'll give us the m. It's still negative x, just now we have 1. And let's call it 1 over 1. Still, again, it's just 1 times negative x, so it's negative x, but now we can call this rise over run. So for rise over run, we would rise 1, but it's negative 1. So we have to go down 1, and then we go over 1. We run 1. So we rise 1, but again it's negative 1. So we have to go down, and we go over 1. And you could keep doing that, and all the lines would be on our graph here. So that's it. That's the graph for y equals negative x plus 2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.